The hypno-induced psychotic public can't even hear the war drums anymore, no matter how loud. They become background music, white noise or something to tap your foot to. With sadistic glee still warm over Gaddafi's public torture and execution through the streets of Libya, the bloodthirsty, mind-controlled Western public will counter Syrian overthrow, a nice after-dinner mint. While monstrous illegal death drone attack reports on innocent civilians in Pakistan and Somalia are savoured pastries while sipping their morning coffee. A monstrous world unleashed while citizens nod and sway to the rhythm of dystopian mechanized war and control. Such as today's surreal world environment. Ten years of genocidal wars and now these latest barbaric atrocities in Libya have made their inroads even broader in the Middle East and even more in the human mind. And as they continue their saber-rattling and massive propaganda campaigns, little do people realize they're garnering a tsunami of unspoken public permission with each passing day. What few are realizing in a war with Iran will no doubt initiate at least a limited nuclear conflagration, the effects of which will change history forever. Diabolically couched as a preemptive strike on a rogue nation to save Israel and US interests, such a move will inevitably draw China and Russia into the conflict. Don't think so? When you come to realize that's exactly what they want, that's when you know you're waking up. When you know a new world order is the desired outcome, you realize the old world order needs to be debunked, crippled and reset. The global financial and economic structure has been brought to the brink. Sovereignty is being scuttled worldwide and the population is taking to the streets. Need I say more? Any way you look at it, be forewarned and prepared emotionally, psychologically, spiritually and practically. While a nuclear war seems an unlikely horror that sane men and women would want to avoid at any cost, a quick look at history and especially current events shows something very ugly and aggressive is marching toward a self-defined goal. It does not represent you and me. It's their design, and apparently, must be done at any cost. That, my friend, is a fact of life and the world we're living in. However, we are conscious humanity, and we will triumph, despite the death throes they are willing to put themselves and the innocent people of the earth through. We're all here for a purpose and it's really a wondrous time to be alive. Only not facing the truth will bring on trauma in the days to come. As we participate in this amazing consciousness shift and spiritual awakening that's taking place and realize the empowerment it gives us, the very reality of this planet will continue to change. Their tool is fear, to keep us preoccupied and distracted and living in their projected reality, turn it completely off. If we stop participating, stop conforming through fearing and fixating on their projected assaults of their visual and mental states and separate and expose their falseness, love and truth will manifest in increasingly amazing ways. And each of us then becomes a vessel to help enliven and encourage the brave souls we have the privilege to be with on this wonderful journey. I know, wild ride, eh? <laughs> 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 
Ha! Laugh in their faces. We are eternal.